Today we're in my garage and we're gonna be reviewing the Honda EU3200i portable generator. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do the type bar. Nope, we've got Honda things in the garage and they are not just cars. I also have the S2000, but that is out and about getting some work done right now. Let's talk about this portable generator because I have gotten some really great use out of this the last six months. Uh, it's intended to be a camping RV tailgating generator. Uh, it can be used for commercial use as well. I've been using it as a backup home power solution for when we have power outages. We've had about four power outages for an extended period of time this summer. A lot of storms have come through. As you can see, this is our backyard. There are a lot of trees, a lot of downed power lines, and uh, this thing has really saved the day multiple times this summer. So let's haul it out of the garage. We'll start it up and we'll talk about some of its features. As you can see, it's pretty lightweight, under 60 pounds, which is uh, the lightest Honda I've ever had in the garage. It's got some pretty neat features. Let's go over everything in this video and uh, we'll talk about what this has been like to experience and live with the last six months. So first things first, whenever you're operating a portable generator, safety is the main concern. And uh, this does have a carbon monoxide cutoff sensor. It'll kind of sense the atmosphere around it. You don't ever want to run these indoors. You don't want to run them near your RV or camper or home. So I put this way out, uh, run a long extension cable to my generator hookup right here. And get it nice and far away from the house and aim it this way so that the exhaust shoots out. Uh, one of the main reasons why I wanted to test this generator, two reasons, its size, it's super compact and it fits beautifully in the corner of my garage. It doesn't take up valuable space that I'm using for bikes, wheels and tires and cars and of course my son's toys. And it's just lightweight and very quiet. Its operation is under like 60 decibels at idle. And then when it's under load, uh, this can provide up to 3,200 watts of power, hence the EU3200i. And you can actually string two of these together for 6,400 watts of power, which is very cool. This generator is fuel injected, which means it's very fuel efficient. Runtime at idle is about 8.6 hours. Under load, under about a 300 to 700 watt load, I've been seeing six to eight hours of runtime out of this while using it to kind of back up some appliances in the house. You can see here we've got our main switch panel, you've got a fuel meter, um, and then of course you can connect all this to the Honda generator app, and I'll show you guys that on my phone here shortly, but that's basically that gives you an idea of how much load you're running. That's a Bluetooth connection that goes pretty far. I can pretty much connect this generator in the kitchen of our house, in the main living room area, in my office, and I would just kind of leave my phone uh, in that area to kind of monitor power output, remaining fuel level, runtime, etc. So we, let's take a look at the switch panel here. You've got your engine on and off, so we can turn on the ignition there. We'll fire it up here in a second. 21.7 amp locking connection, and then 20 amp basically just wall plugs right here. Of course, here's your fuel filler cap. Everything fills in right there. You can see we've got about a full tank in this generator right now. Here's your pull string to start it all up. Before we do that, let's open up this access panel, show you what that looks like. Oil changes, maintenance, all very, very easy with this 3200i. You even have a little bit of a kind of a spout so you can dump all the oil out very easily. There is also a Honda low oil alert notification that comes up on the app if your oil does get to a critically low level, which is a nice feature to have. You've got access to your spark plug up here. There you go. Pretty easy and straightforward. Here's what the air filter looks like. Easy change there. One important note is these do not ship with oil in them. So you will have to do an oil fill up before you first start it up. Don't make that mistake of running the engine for the first time without any oil in it. Here's your exhaust. That's hot, don't touch it. Okay, let's fire it up. We've got ignition on here. 
one pull should do the trick. This has been a very reliable thing to start up every time I've needed it. Never failed me. So, this is idle. We can go in here and connect to the Honda My Generator app. Oops, that's the Log R app. Lots of Honda apps on my phone. And you can hear it's pretty quiet. This is about 54, 56 decibels right now. And you can see it's not running any load. You can see we've got 89 engine hours on here, high fuel level. Once that fuel level goes down, it'll actually give us an hour estimate of how much more operation time we have. And that'll vary as your load varies. You can see we've got 76 hours remaining on the oil life. So that's nice, you can reset that with every oil change. Uh, there's an eco throttle mode, which is what it's uh, enabled right now. If you turn that off, it'll fire up, get a little bit louder. But basically, what eco throttle does is it adjusts the engine output according to however much load is required. And it can do that very quickly and very effectively and safely for electronics as well, so that uh, it's giving the amount of load required immediately. Uh, sending power to your house or sending power to whatever it's plugged into. Now when you're actually running this thing, you're going to be powering some stuff, so it's not going to be this quiet all the time. It's probably going to be more like this. And even so, from indoors, it's very quiet compared to a lot of other generators. I think I was measuring about 70 decibels from a good distance away under load, and I think that's pretty reasonable. Another nice feature is that you can turn off the generator from the app, you don't have to go outside and do it yourself. Just hold that until the screen turns red, and if you need to refuel, let everything cool down a little bit before you pour more gasoline in there, and then it tells you here, turn the main switch off, there you go. Confirm. So do I have any complaints? Well, probably the biggest and foremost complaint is just the price. This is kind of expensive compared to a lot of other generators that put out uh, way more wattage. The convenience and the advantage to this generator is that it's portable, it's really small, it's very efficient, um, it's lightweight, and it's a really good solution if you need something reliable, long-term, on the go. You know this engine is just gonna last forever. And uh, Hana's done a really nice job with the packaging here. The only con is that you're gonna be paying for that packaging and for that convenience, uh, probably about almost double what a lot of the competitors are. But you have to factor in, uh, you know, this is a Honda, it's probably gonna last you a very, very, very long time. Is it worth not having to deal with some of the issues and reliability concerns that other generator companies may have? Probably is in the long term. So it depends on your use case. For me, uh, this is kind of all the power we need to power our house during a power outage. I don't really want to swing for a massive generator that takes up a lot of room. Home standby generators have gotten outrageously expensive over the last few years. Like you're looking at at least ten to fifteen thousand dollars to get one of those installed, um, and something like this is just a simple, easy solution. The connections for this into the house uh, with a fuse panel and everything, everything is around thousand dollars to get this connected, and uh, you can power everything that's 120 volts. So, you know, I can't power the washer and dryer, I can't power the dishwasher, can't power the, the big oven and stove, but I can run the refrigerator, which only takes about uh, 300 watts. I can run the furnace fan or our gas heater in the house in the wintertime if we need it. I can power up my quick jack in the garage or run the garage doors. Uh, you kind of have to be selective about what appliances you wire your connection into and, and what, you know, how you set that up in your home if you're using that for this purpose but it's also a really nice portable solution if you wanna go camping for a weekend or tailgating and you need a little bit of portable power. Only other complaint I have about this ultimately is that we would like to see a little bit better fitment here, fit and finish with this access panel. Haven't had any issues with it, uh, sealing out water or anything like that, but it just looks a little bit crummy because the fitment isn't perfect here. 
Otherwise, this EU3200i has been incredibly solid. Uh, this is the first generator I've tested extensively over a long period of time, or a longer period of time. The only comparison I have is my parents have a generator and it, they always have trouble starting it. Uh, it'll go for long periods of time without use. It has its own battery. It's a push button start. It's just kind of very temperamental and unreliable. And this thing has just fired up every single time we've needed it. And I think there's something to be said about that. For someone who's relatively new to operating a generator, this was a walk in the park, no major gotchas. Uh, the app connectivity has been really nice. Being able to monitor everything wirelessly and kind of keep track of what type of power you're drawing from the unit has been really nice, as well as keeping up with maintenance, uh, fuel level, etc. So the connectivity has actually worked out surprisingly well. I wish it could have just a little bit more range sometimes, but for the most part, it's been just fine. And uh, again, most people probably aren't going to be using this to power their homes. Uh, I feel like this is kind of an extreme use case scenario uh, and probably not what this is intended for. But for my purposes, this is kind of the perfect thing to connect up to what we needed to power this summer. And uh, it could keep powering what we need in the wintertime. But I do have to send this back to Honda next week. All right, guys, that's all I have to say about the Honda EU3200i. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let's put this back in the garage and uh, that'll be it for this review. Thanks so much for watching and thanks to Honda for letting me use this and power the house in times of uh, no power <laughs> this whole summer. Uh, it's been put to really good use and it's come in handy a lot of different times. All right, we'll carry this in and put it away. <clears throat> Not a big strong guy, but I can still kind of one hand this. That's it. Home sweet home in its little corner. You can see compared to like a bicycle, it's very small. With a quick jack and everything else, you can see there's not really a lot of other places to put a generator. So this is the perfect spot for it. If you're like me and you're a little bit tight on space in the garage, I found this to be a really, really nice solution. And it's just kind of lived here all summer. Hasn't been in the way. Easy out worked out really nicely.